stop at Manchester. Can you explain more, Dad? Yes, we are driving from Birmingham to Manchester. We're going to stay in a hotel in Manchester tonight near Old Trafford. And then we're going to go tomorrow morning to a tour of Anfield Football Stadium. Me and you, Sarah. Let's go. As we just woke up from our Manchester hotel, and then all of a sudden, there's a fire alarm. Right when I'm reading the fire alarm instructions, Dad's washing his hands, and then we had to evacuate. <laughs> Leaving to go to um, Anfield, and we are leaving uh, Manchester. What do you want to say? I want to say that the fire alarm is no problem. There wasn't actually a fire, it was just a false alarm. We're all okay, aren't we? Yeah. yeah? Okay, good. okay, let's go to Anfield. Breakfast to go, let's have some breakfast to go. Yeah, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have breakfast to go though. Just because there's a Liverpool and we're gonna reach the stadium. We, sh we should see it soon, right, Dad? Three minutes. So, to the stadium, guys. We're gonna have to find another way. But this is the stadium. We've arrived, guys. And we found an alternative route. Dad. I'm so happy. <laughs> We're here. Before Bill Shanley came to us in December of 1959, nobody had heard of Liverpool. It was like we're talking about Accrington Stanley. We were in the second division with a chance of dropping to the third. Bill knew what he needed to do and that was basically change everything and he did. So after four years with the top of division one where we belong, we both to our first European success and our first FA Cup. Liverpool changing rooms. If you go to the away team changing rooms, um, it's very dark and there's no soundproof and um, there's no way to hang your clothes behind it. But this is you can change the lights here. This is really cool. Yeah. So these open up. Yeah. But they are wardrobes, they're not lockers, there are no locks on Sarah. them. And this is from the days of Bill Shankly, because he said if you can't trust your teammates off the pitch, you can't trust them on it. So that's why there's no locks. We can hang the clothes up, there's a socket in there so they can plug the mobile devices in, and the shelves put the bits and pieces on, car keys, etc. Now, we all know that the players are very, very well looked after. You don't really have to think for themselves, and as a result, it is not uncommon for us to come in here after the match, before we did. Now when they moved and they, they built Goodson Park over there, what they'd actually done was make the first world, world's first ever football stadium. Obviously stadiums existed before Goodison, but... Put your hands set, put them in the picture landscape. Yeah. He brought it in and he showed it. In your pockets, you can keep those and we'll collect the devices off you shortly, okay? Now, this is Liverpool Street on Cop. Probably the most famous football terrace in the world. And it's famous because of the amount of support we get from this end. 